Hello, welcome back. I got a lot of questions and emails about tool tips. Uh, so here goes the video. So I've got some uh, embedded style tags right here for what's called a tool tip. Uh, starting off between my uh, in my HTML document. So let's show you what the tool tip is. This particular one was for helpful hints on a website. Uh, had a significant amount of content, so we wanted to put this within the content. And so when they hover over, it gives them a tip. Uh, and that's the tool tip. So we're going to show you how to do that function, how to change it today. Now in this particular case, I'm case I'm just going to show you how to change the number one up there uh, in case you wanted to change what that said. As you can see, we're using two images. We're going to use this one image that hovers over. And then we also embedded an image within. So you will need an images folder as well as your HTML document. So you can uh, reference those images. Those are be, being referenced locally on my desktop. Uh, obviously I would have to put those images up line on, on the server in order to reference those once I went live. Now to begin with we're going to switch over to Dreamweaver uh, and we're going to go into full code view and typically I like to go back and forth my hover over so I'm looking for the number one which starts with the word click so when I go into Dreamweaver I like to just hit uh, control F and uh, give it a second to think and what that's going to do is going to open up a search box and there's our search box so I'm just gonna click find next and it jumps right to the code uh, portion right there I'm done navigating around and if I go back to uh, there then yeah number one click publish and so now I'm gonna come back to my Dreamweaver and number one click publish so uh, in this case if I wanted to change what that sentence said I would just highlight over here and I would type in my changes what I wanted it to say um, NBS uh, P I put in some non breaking spaces it's HTML code for some spaces in order to get that to render uh, nicely right here uh, in this format um, I, I put it after the your if you can notice um, right there and that's just to continue the next word link on a on a line right below that that's what that did and that's kind of how you would make some changes to the sentence after getting the code for this tooltip. Uh, now let's talk about the image tag that we have embedded right here. This is a local reference to a light bulb. Now that is uh, going to be in a folder uh, on my desktop. And uh, I've just got a picture of the nice light bulb in there that you see down at the bottom right. Okay. And so now our next image um, is the actual tooltip image, and that's up top. So if you wanted to change that from the green uh, question mark, this is where you'd change the image as well. Um, other than that, you wouldn't really need to change anything else besides uh, maybe the tooltip itself where it says helpful hints. I could type uh, hover over for hints. You know, and save that. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and hit Control S. I'll come back to my document. I'm going to go ahead and hit Refresh. And you can see my change was made just like that. So, other than that, that's probably the only changes you'd want to make for this particular tooltip. Um, this one was done for a, uh, a client that he wanted his users to help out or give them some help to help them out navigating a certain amount of their code. So you can see the code right here. I'll scroll through it. Uh, feel free to pause and uh, you know copy this code and type it up into your document um, and uh, implement it and use it in your application. Now I've got a lot of messages of uh, why don't I just give them the code. Well the reason why I don't give it in a download file is I want those of you who don't really understand what's going on in the style tag here this is the CSS that's uh, in line so I want you to be able to type that out and learn what's going on what those effects are so if you really wanted to get down to the nitty and gritty you could start changing these numbers and these colors here with the shadow effects um, and this is your uh, Moz transition, your duration, your easing in and your easing out of the black box that appears when I hover over. That that you could slow it down, and you could change the way the transition uh, 
is when you hover over. So, and again, that's getting into the nitty and gritty, but uh, kind of very cool if you wanted to really customize it and make it your own. And thanks for tuning in. Um, we will upload some supplementary videos to this one. Uh, this is probably an intermediate user video, uh, so if you're a little confused about everything that's going on here, we're going to let you have some videos from beginning to end how this was created.